My final guest is Deacon John Maloney, former councilman here in Clarkstown. Welcome, John. Well, glad to be here. At my age, I'm glad to be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, John, you know, I've known you for uh, very many years um, and um, really uh, have a tremendous amount of respect for you um, and for all of your accomplishments and what you've uh, been involved with for these very many years uh, here in Clarkstown uh, within Rockland County. Uh, with the not-for-profits that you had worked with uh, and certainly um, your role as a councilman and that continues uh, with all of your efforts with the senior show here before we kind of get into some of uh, some of that let's you know kind of give a flavor for our uh, listeners about your background um, so maybe you could just uh, talk a little bit about where you were from yeah well, i uh, was born in harlem in uh, 1924 so that's about 93 and a half years ago i loved in all in their Morningside Park, and uh, and grew up there till I was 18, and then we moved up to uh, Inwood section of Manhattan. Everybody was moving north, but uh, I went to school at St. Joseph's Grammar School, which was closed uh, some some time ago, 150 years. I had the good nuns, the Notre Dame sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, they used to listen to the Notre Dame football games on Saturday, and mm -hmm. <laughs> if you if you were there on Saturday, you listened to it. And I was fortunate to get a a uh, four-year scholarship to Xavier High School, and I went to Xavier High School, and then on there went to Cathedral College, hoping someday to be a priest and so forth, but it uh, didn't work out that way. But, uh, no, but Inwood, I loved Inwood a lot. I used to play a lot of softball up there in the, in the tavern leagues, as they called mm -hmm. them on Sunday, you know. But, uh, and then uh, I met my wife, and uh, we got married in 1950, so that's... Uh, 67 years ago wow. and the other night I was looking at the marriage license certificate she said what are you looking at I'm looking at the expiration date you know so <laughs> I, and I got hit on the head but anyhow <laughs> but uh, yeah we moved up to uh, Nanuet Clarkstown in 1961 I had worked up in Nanuet as a volunteer uh, at St. Agatha home in Nanuet in 1944 45 and 46 when I was uh, when I was in the seminary, so I got to know a little bit about Nanuet. So it was a great move. I'm glad I made it. Mm. Glad I made it. And then uh, you you kind of uh, went on. You also worked in the not for profit field for a period of time. As yes, well. I did. I, I worked for my first job. I worked for uh, Catholic Charities in New York, and uh, my first boss was uh, a fellow named Father Terence Cook. Mm. Father Terence Cook was my first boss. And uh, someday I figured he's going to be a bishop and higher than that. But I worked with street gangs in uh, East Harlem back in uh, back in the late uh, 49, 50, 51, when uh, there was a lot of you know fighting going on and so forth. It was before the drugs. When they got into the drugs, they stopped fighting. But before that, they had different groups. And I worked over in uh, 116th Street on the East Side, and then uh, and then I worked uh, in the South Bronx a little bit. Meantime, I was on my way to Fordham to get a master's degree in social work, so uh, I did a little work again back in Harlem and Manhattanville, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got my master's degree, and then uh, lo and behold, they sent me out to Staten Island uh, and they head up the CYO program. So at the age of 26, I was the youngest executive out to Staten Island and worked out there for a number of years, running all the basketball programs, the bowling programs, a lot of things. And uh, this fellow, Father Terry Cook, he went on to be something else, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Archbishop, Cardinal Archbishop of, course, of New York. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, back in those days, it was funny, we were getting, uh, working with a master degree, we'd get like $37 a week. And $37 a week <laughs> wouldn't buy you maybe a couple of scotches or something for the week. But yeah. anyway, yeah. but those were the days. He, he, was, uh, he was a funny man. I remember stopping one day, he and my wife, and... He said, you know, John, he said, I just went into the drugstore. The Hershey bar was at a nickel anymore. So I said, where have you been? I said, it's been 15 cents for the last, for the last year and a half. <laughs> but he said, I didn't know that. I said, well, I know that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Car uh, Cardinal Cook, uh, just a, a wonderful man. You had a, a great privilege being able to work with him uh, for a number of years. And, of course, his, um, his cause uh, for canonization is... is oh, yes, right. he was a... A great man, everybody, everybody. He got his master's degree from Fordham too in social work. And then I worked with uh, the uh, ARC with the mm -hmm. retarded children. I worked for about 20 years with them. That was mm -hmm. a fantastic kind of a work to 
see these people that are developmentally disabled, but what they're able to do. Mm -hmm. And I was in the forefront of, uh, with George Gerber of setting up group homes here in Rockland County in Clarkstown. No one wanted to talk about group homes. Oh, you want to, we don't want these people living in our neighborhood, you know. But I said, there's nothing wrong with these people. They, they, they belong to live like a family like everybody else. So we pushed it and uh, the group homes are here after yeah. we, uh, we had a little tussle on it, but uh, we got it through, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank God we did. So, and John, uh, you know, so aside from your professional career, you had two other uh, careers. Um, you uh, went into uh, local politics. You also uh, decided to, um, uh, you had a calling, and you decided to uh, uh, pursue becoming a deacon in the Catholic Church. So why don't we talk about both of those? Um, what, yeah. Uh, why don't well, we talk I, about the, the, the town council? So you, you were a long-time councilman. How long did you Yeah, uh, 36 years. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think anyone's going to be that long anymore. No. I don't think so in the entire state. But I got involved when I worked lo locally. There was on zoning groups and so forth. Things were happening in Nannywood and Bardonia. So I got on one of the groups and worked there as a volunteer and so forth. And then some suggested, why don't you run for office? I said, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot and so forth. So. Uh, in 1973, uh, I decided to take a shot at it, and uh, lo and behold, I knocked off a couple of people that were supposed to win. So I won in 1973, which was the year I was ordained. Mm -hmm. Ironically, uh, I was ordained that June and uh, 44 years ago, and ran for office in 73, and took office in January 74. But it was a great experience. I get to meet a lot of good people and so forth on both sides of the. Politics a little different, then, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you fought, but you talked about issues, and you didn't call name, name calling, or anything like that. Here were the issues. We agreed. We shook hands, and that was the, that was the end of that, you know. Right. But uh, anyway, I uh, kept running and running and running, right. <laughs> and then ran once for uh, against uh, Ben Gilman mm -hmm. for Congress. But I was only two years' experience as a councilman. But that was that was good too. I got to love Ben and. Mm -hmm respect each other, and uh, I didn't do too badly. I knocked out uh, someone who was running in the primary against me as a Democrat, and uh, I guess I'm like 98,000 votes against Ben Gilman. Mm -hmm. He probably got about 200,000, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, you got, yeah. but he got more than I did, let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I respected that man. He was, he was a great, great person and so mm -hmm. forth. And uh, you met a lot of people in politics, couldn't Ben, you did the best you could. And then lo and behold, uh, I found out in 1971 the diocese was starting the diaconate program, permanent deacons, no one ever heard of that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I applied and uh, I was accepted one of the 12 in the first class and, uh, and that time was a two-year program. Mm -hmm. And they didn't guarantee you were going to be ordained a deacon, you had to go, go and go and find it at the very end. They said, well, the whole program may just be thank you very much for coming because in those days some of the old pastors said, what, we're going to have men, lay men, married men, deacons? Oh. But anyway, Cookie gave the okay, Cardinal Cook gave the okay, and uh, I was ordained on June the 9th, 1973. So uh, everything worked out well. Uh, two careers were coming together. So, so uh, we'll get back to both, but um, I know as a, a councilman, um, I had the pleasure of serving with you for about a year, my first year on, yeah, the, town, got, on the town yes. board. Um, certainly some enjoyable times, and, uh, you, know, and you uh, really have been behind a bunch of initiatives. Uh, when you were a councilman, uh, I know that um, uh, the state of our parks department and our uh, oh, yes. parks in Clarkstown, um, really through your tenure as a councilman, uh, you had supported a whole slew of initiatives that really kind of uh, put our parks department um, where it is today. And so I think the residents really should uh, commend you for that. And obviously uh, your support of the open space initiatives here in the, in the uh, town, uh, hundreds of acres that have been acquired. Uh -huh. um, most of it during your tenure, and I think the other, the other thing that my administration is following up on is um, uh, the Trapagan property. Yes, and all of that would not have been possible if it was not for uh, the efforts that took place with probably the first board that you were on, which negotiated the right of first refusal for that property. Mm -hmm. That property would have uh, been developed, and the town never would have been able to oh, acquire no. it at a reasonable price. Um, if not for the foresight that was was brought, you know, forward uh, back in the uh, uh, mid 1970s, so uh, you're really to be commended for those efforts. But let, let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, what you do as a deacon over at St. Anthony's. Um, you had well, the pleasure of serving with uh, 
with uh, some guy from Rome, right, who came over to yeah, St. Pat's they, they kept asking me, they said, Maloney, who was that guy with the funny hat that was sitting next to you at the cathedral, you know? And I said, well, I you probably know who he is, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, they keep me busy. I, uh, I go to the uh, Nyack Hospital every Friday, take care of that. I've been up at the jail every Sunday morning for about 30 years, I guess. I've been at the uh, nursing home in Nanuet, the uh, Northern Manor now, for about 43 years. I went there right as a deacon. And they keep me busy on Monday night. I do a special novena. And Tuesday night I do a, a holy hour. Saturday night I'm on for the mass. And uh, Sunday keeps me busy from about 9 to 12 o'clock. I enjoy doing it as long as the old lakes hold out, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we have a new deacon there now. We're just ordained, so he's going to be able to take over some of the uh, some of the things that I was doing. Yeah. Right. And, and you've you've served as a chaplain to a number of. Uh, oh, the Nanuet Fire Department for 35 years. I'm listed as a chaplain up at the uh, up at the jail. All volunteer. I don't get paid for it, you know. So it was it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I'm very proud to be able to help them out, you know. Mm -hmm. We got a new firehouse coming up. You got yeah. to, we got to get a look at that. Yeah, that that'll be opening um, shortly. They're, yeah, right. Yeah, pretty yeah. Pretty much uh -huh. coming to the end, and uh, um, just going through their final inspections as as we're taping this show, and uh, anticipate from what I've been told that uh, uh, they'll be moving over uh, within the next month or so to that new new facility. So, uh, John, let's talk a little bit. We just have about uh, uh, two or three show. minutes. Okay. The senior show. Let's <laughs> let's absolutely get to the senior show because. Well, uh, how long have you been doing the senior show? And, and uh, tell, see, tell our viewers about, about it. 30, about 32 years, I guess. I had to be 60 to get in it, and I was so uh, about 32, 33 years ago, and I enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, worked well with Ann Slingerby, who was the who was the director, and I did write some of the scripts with her, and I enjoyed every bit of it. You meet a lot of good people and so on. And uh, then after she passed on, I ended up uh, directing it, writing the scripts, and taking a part in as long as I keep moving along and so forth. But it's always fun working with these people. I have a lot of talent and so on. And, and I usually start thinking of ideas, uh, you know, June, July, August, and start jotting things down. So we're ready for the first rehearsal in, uh, in January, you know. Mm -hmm. And you get the same group of people. Sometimes you lose a few, sometimes you get a few new ones. So we're always out there looking for more talent. Right. But uh, you're too young yet to, you no, know. No, no. Just turned 52, John, so i got another eight years to oh, come. Oh, good. Okay, well, I'll so, tell you what, so, I'll wait for you if you yeah, want to. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Happy to be in the show. You know, you're still directing. Well, it's a lot of fun, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of talented people, and people seem to like it. And we're so glad that uh, a guy like John Aquino, who's a, who's a genius with the camera, and uh, Mary Aquino with the costume, but the fact that people like... I was in between the Yankee game, I switched, and there I am. Yeah, and someone's you. singing a song. and say, hey, we're on Channel 78, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we, we're definitely uh, uh, definitely looking forward to next year's show. This, well, this year's show was a, uh, was a great show. And, and just for the benefit of the viewers that may not have seen it, um, it's um, really uh, kind of some skits and performances, you know, tied together with... Um, you know, yeah, we try to line. try to get you try to get it. What I'm trying to think of this year is uh, something like America sings and laughs. You know, mm -hmm. we travel through the different states and maybe highlight different kinds of music from that state. But the people like they hear the singing, they love the dance, they like the, they like a couple of skits, they like the humor. You know, you got to give them some of that to laugh at. You know, right. as long as the mics are on and people understand what you said. So, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a challenge, but it's a lot of fun. Right. And we go from. Uh, Every Tuesday and Friday from January right up till the end, we we're rehearsing. Uh, thank God we're using the Pascac Community Center. Thank God that the town gives us that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Keeps yeah. you young. And, and how, about how many people are in the show typically? Uh, you get about uh, 20, 22, 23 that actually are acting, and you get a few people that help uh, in the background and so forth, you know, with costumes and so forth, you know. But uh, yeah. other than that, it's good. good. About that many people, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, John, I, I want to thank you for being such a wonderful guest. Um, you know, and it, more importantly, I want to thank you just for your your life of service because that's really what it's about. And you spent um, a career here serving the people in Clarkstown. You're still doing it, um, you know, through the town government because this is, you know, something that you're doing through the show still. Uh, and more importantly, as well as your vocation as a deacon, uh, serving the people of, of Rockton County over at St. Anthony's. 
uh, since uh, the 70s, and uh, it's really to be commended and, and admired. Uh, and I want to thank you for that, but I want to thank you for being such a wonderful guest. Well, thank you. Thank you for being a friend of mine. I call you a friend. Absolutely. Keep up the good work, huh? Thanks, John. And we'll be right back.